Congratulations if you've gone this far. Now we can zoom out with our cursor, with our mouse. The next step is to separate the curve we've made from all the rest of the curves and we'll get rid of all the other curves. So I wanna use the select tool and select this segment and hit the delete key. Select the segment to the left and hit the delete key. And I'm gonna go about deleting this rectangle which is no longer needed. And the central axis line, no longer needed. Now here's a new trick that I learned. If you triple click on this continuous line segment, it will select that and only that line segment. So I'm gonna do it. Click, click, click. See how it selected all the spiral that we've made. Now I'm gonna look at it from front view. So I select front view. And once again, I'm gonna use the new trick that I've learned, which is to select, select the move tool, click, grab the end of my line segment, hold the control key, press it down, I'm pressing, I'm use the mouse to move and make a copy of my spiral. Now I'm gonna move it up and to the left. And now I'm gonna use the marquee tool, select all those excess line segments and hit delete. Looking at this, I'm going to delete two segments at the top of this spiral. Select one, hit the delete key, select two, hit the delete key. Then I'm gonna view it in left view. And where that line segment begins, I'm gonna draw a line from that point directly to the left on the green axis and enter six on the keypad for length and then enter. And then you can use the select tool to deselect. Now, don't forget this step. Use that trick I just showed you to select the entire line segment. Click, click, click. And I want you to right click, and get this pop up, and then I want you to weld edges. That welded the entire set of line segments into one line segment. All right, top view. I'm actually gonna move this back using the move tool I like to, I like to have it right around the axis. Orbit, pan it a little bit, get it in the proper place. I'm gonna look at it from back view. So I'm using this, the back of the house, select that. And I'm gonna create the actual profile for the spiral tube. So I'm gonna use a circle. And I'm gonna select off to the left, click, drag it out, and hit radius 14. And that gave me a 28 inch diameter. And now I'm gonna use the offset tool, which is the third tool under the push pull tool. It says offset, click. And I select the profile, push it in a little bit, hit two, enter. And then use a line segment to find the center of your circle. So I'm gonna select one of these circumferences, click, drag it to the center. When I see center, I, I know I can click again, click, and then use the select tool to deselect. Now, I am gonna look at this in a 3D view, so I'm orbiting. I'm gonna use my select tool to select with a marquee the entire construct here and use the move tool to drag that center point right to the end of that line segment. When you see it says end point, then you can let it go. And use the select tool to select the center of your profile and hit delete to get rid of it. Then you wanna select this little line segment and hit delete to get rid of that. Now I think you're good to go to make a very nice spiral tunnel. So you use the follow me tool Select your profile and then push it and use your cursor very slowly and carefully to follow all the way down your spiral 
until you reach the end. It can be tricky. And when you get it to the end, click. And if you've done it right, it will turn white. Now, I am going to again look at it flush, straight, back view. And I'm going to create a rectangle off to the left. Select. And it's going to be 44, comma, 32, enter. That's my size. Now I'm going to use my line segment diagonally, one direction, and then diagonally, another direction, to find the center point of my, what will become the spiral slides wall. <clears throat> I'm going to use the select tool, make a marquee around the whole construct. Use the move tool, grab that center point, and drag it over until you see end point. Actually, you may have to orbit. And then, again, use the move tool to drag it until you see end point. Now that you've positioned a rectangle, use the select tool to select the interior of this rectangle, deleting segments and surfaces. You can also zoom in, select these extra line segments and try to remove those, being careful not to remove any of the blue. <clears throat> Use the push-pull tool. You can push that wall two inches, hit two for distance, and then enter to lock it in. If you see blue, you can always right click on it and reverse face. Again, right click, get a pop up, reverse face. Right click, reverse face. You can select this interior line segment, hit delete. You can delete excess line segment, like a little video game. Can you select the line segments and delete them? Congratulations if you've gotten this far. Now you may save it. Save in your SketchUp folder, in your Playground folder. Call it Spiral Tube Slide and save here. says saved. I'd say position it <clears throat> centrally. If it says spiral tube slide, you can select these three lines, hit export as PNG. Don't forget to hit export as PNG button. And then on down left, you can see it says spiral tube slide PNG. That means it's in your downloads folder. Double click and verify that it's there. That would be the image you want to turn in. Good luck.